hi welcome back to my channel today i am finally trying out the revlon perfectionist hair styler it's like a hair dryer but it's got a brush and i was so against all of those straightening hair brushes I was never ever going to touch those, I don't know, something about them just looked super damaging which is weird, but a hair drying brush just seems right. I don't know, maybe because it's what I would do, I use an afro pick usually with my hair dryer if I'm not using the tension method. I really like how it's compact, it's a lot smaller than traditional hair dryers or blow dryers, whatever you call them. I first saw, I believe it was Layla from Fusion of Cultures, that's where I first saw it. And then the more different hair types I saw try it, I was like, maybe this will really work for me. What I like about it is it's ionic, that means it's going to help smooth the hair, it's supposed to help um, keep frizz at bay. It's also got two heat settings and a cool settings and a cool setting, I really like that as well. Wish it had different speeds, but again, for the size of it, I can't complain. It's got a paddle brush attached to the top, traditional paddle brush style. I don't know if you can see, but mine already came with the kind of, um, I don't know what you call the bristles, bent inwards already, which is a bit of a shame because I've heard that over time using it on hot um, uh, can actually warp the bristles. So that's a bit of a shame, but yes, yeah, that traditional brush style, very similar to the wet brush as well, which I've been finding is really good at detangling my hair. I quickly flipped through the instructions and it says to use the high setting for thick, coarse hair and use the low setting on fine or thin hair and then you use the cool setting to lock in the style. So that's what I'm gonna attempt today. My hair is freshly washed, conditioned. It's just been drying in this Aquis hair towel. This is one of my favorite towels. Microfiber, super absorbent and super soft. Look at my crazy twists. These little crocodile clips are super good. They're from Boots. I've already detangled my hair as well. I imagine if you had straight hair, this would be phenomenal. I'm trying to see how it would be on my tightly coiled hair. I wanna see how quickly this dries my hair and how kind of smooth slash straight I can get it with the blow dry. So is it gonna take me 100 passes and 100 minutes? Hopefully not. And are the ends still gonna be bobbly? Is the root still gonna be thick? Or is it gonna be nice and smooth? And then thus, it would be great for stretch styles and even better for when I wanted to straighten my hair, I would get a really sleek finish. I just use good old Cantu Shea Butters Thermal Shield Heat Protectant. I like this because it doesn't have um, silicones in it. Through, I'm working with small to medium sections. I'm gonna use it on high. Um, okay, let's go. detangled really super quickly um, I had to watch it. it heated up really fast so when I was doing the ends I was kind of like oh okay I can work like this the whole time but as you saw I had to just start doing this because it would have been too hot to hold my hair and do it but you know it looks pretty good so far but to be fair I mean that's not even all of my shrinkage that's pretty darn good that's the first section done uh, I think it's working pretty well it's got pretty darn straight actually with just the hair dryers. Um, the ends are pretty smooth, my ends need a trim which is why I was excited to try this so I can trim my hair afterwards. It's hot super quickly but it also seems to cool down pretty quick because look I can I can touch this, this isn't hurting me at all. Yeah that's how much has come out if you can see so it doesn't seem like I'm losing too much hair per section. Let's keep going.
is my hair blown out. I love this bloody thing. It was super, super quick and my arms weren't as achy because it's a lot lighter. So that also helped me just get through it a lot quicker. My hair does also, does tend to shrink up and it is already starting to shrink and fluff back up. That's fine. Um, but it's really nice to have this as a prep before any of my styles because that helps it stretch out even more. Or, which I'm really tempted to do, is straighten my hair. As with everything, it's heat, use it in moderation, use it correctly with your heat protectors and correct hair treatments before and after. Um, one of the things I did find, if I'm being pedantic, is because the heat settings are right at the base, it took a lot of fiddling. Like, say if I was holding a section of hair and I was ready to go, I can't flip that with my thumb the way I could using a regular hair dryer. I have to let go of this piece of hair, then switch it on, hold the piece of hair again and start, you know? But that's just being super picky. I also like that I could kind of twist and turn it, you know, like if I was doing like this to get the back of my hair, I could do that. The ease of it is perfect, you know, because if you did a regular blow dry and you used a round brush or you used a brush to blow dry, this is just combining the two and taking out that extra stress. The cool button, I mean, I don't know about everybody else, but the cool button is not very cool to me. You know, I was going back in with a cool button to seal it in like it says, and it just, it felt lukewarm. Like if, if England's weather was this cool button, I would be happy. You know, I feel like it could be a little bit colder. Um, but I will have to say, actually, switching it off, it cools down super quickly. It heats up really quickly and cools down really quickly, which is really good to know in terms of speed again, but also in terms of safety. If I leave it somewhere, I'm not too concerned because even now I can touch it. I'm not too concerned if someone was to touch it, they're not gonna burn themselves. Listen, I think Revlon is cackling because literally every hair type can use this. If you've got straight hair, your day is a breeze. And if you've got kinky coily hair like mine, this is the perfect prep. And yeah, I just feel really, really good about this. And it's definitely going to become my staple hair dryer, I think. And I can't complain about the price either. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this one before? See my hair starting to like puff up again, but it's cute. And I do need to uh, trim my hair, get rid of these tufty ends. But I'm really, really pleased with the results and the time that it took to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.